Hi everyone, so we're going to get this tutorial started. This is the matching nail design for the toe design video that I had previously done. And this is using polishes. And I want to mention that everything used in this video is available on my website. Now I'm just going to start by polishing all the nails. And as you can see, these are going to cover in one coat. Now this is how I go about my nail art. I use the big bottle. These polishes have the nail stripers that you can use, but I just think it's better to grab a striper and pour it onto a palette and use the polish that way for your nail art. Not only will it save you money, but space as well. I do have all of these polishes from the glitter, stripers, all of it, but now I'm kind of wishing I would have only bought the, the big bottles of the colors because I this is how I use them for my nail art. I always pour them onto a palette and I use striper brushes to do my nail art. So just a quick tip for you guys that are interested in these polishes. This is a great way to use them and save money. All you need is one polish bottle and then you can do many designs from it using your striper brushes. So for this finger here, we're just going to do that stripe design, that um, kind of half triangle. Now on these fingers here, we're going to use the gold and we are going to do that half moon shape at the very top. And then for that part there, we're going to outline it with the black. And as you can see here, I'm using that striper brush to outline it. Um, and that's why I'm mentioning you really don't need the striper brushes from here. but this is another way to do it. Now these are the studs that I'm going to be using and for this design I was thinking about using crystals but then I decided to pass on that because I just think that the studs went very well with it and I'm just laying down a little bit of that brush on glue and I'm gonna set the studs in place and I'm gonna do that for all the fingers. Um, what I like to do as well with studs, I like to put the glue on top of the stud to seal that gold in. That way it'll last, the color will last, and it'll give it an extra protection. So we're just going to finish up the design here, adding all the rest of the studs to the nails. Now what I'm going to do is um, cover these last ones here with the glue as well, and then I'm going to cover them with gel. This is one of the gels that I like to use on these polishes. The first one is my high gloss gel sealer. You guys have seen that many times in my videos. Now for these, as you can see here, I'm covering it very good with the gel sealer here and I'm making sure to go around those sides and the ends. I turn my brush around to the side and then I kind of get it underneath that nail as you can see there. That's very important. That'll help the nail palette polish stay on there and the gel from lifting or cracking or whatever. Now for these nails with the studs, I'm using my UV clear gel. Now this UV clear gel can be used on any brand of polish. It just has to be completely dry. Now I love to use these on top of the studs because it seals them in and it also gives them an extra protection to keep the gold in. And you're going to see in the end, it is not going to bulk up the design. It is, it will not take away from the design. Now here I'm cleaning my brush. I put a little bit of alcohol onto the paper and I'm wiping my brush clean. It's very important you guys clean your brushes. They'll last you a long time and it makes your job easier when everything is clean. Now what you're going to want to do is wipe off the tacky layer from the gel that you used in the jar, the UV clear gel. You're going to want to remove that tacky layer. And this is the final look you guys. I paired up the toe, de design, the toe design and the hand design together just so that you could see how it complements one another. I think this was a very beautiful design, simple enough. Anybody can do this and it's been popular at my salon. People have loved it. so just sharing this design with you guys. I hope you guys liked it. I will be uploading many, many tutorials, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time.